Hello everyone, this is Baron, and we are in bound number 43 of the Season 5 1.3 AI Tournament. And by luck of the draw, and not by luck of the draw, as a result from uh, the uh, matches from round 1, we have Lidge versus Pokétax. Lidge's team has Lidge the Lancer, Mondo the Knight, Marlena the Oracle, and Lilith the Priest. Versus uh, Pokétax's team, which comprises of uh, Galahad the Kokotaurus, Constance the Sacred, Empress the Erebo and Clarence the Ninja. Round one will be going to uh, map 50, which is Saint, uh, yeah, Saint Moron Temple. This is the exterior map of Saint Moron Temple. So here we go. So we got Lidge in the white versus Pokétax in the purple with the three monsters. So let's see what happens here. Clarence is going to uh, stay put. We're going to see Please Eat, and it's going to be successful. Lidge, the Lancer, is going to move forward. This is going to be a, this is going to be a very interesting fight. Hard to pick a winner because you got Lidge's all-around super damage team uh, versus Pokétax's uh, monster team with the Ninja basically as their babysitter, keeping the whole team up. We're going to see Issa Holy go off on Galahad. For 171 damage, uh, not quite put him in a critical, but still, he, that took a good chunk of damage out of him. So Clarence is going to move back a little bit. 112 damage jump. The Coca Troy is going to go for Wind Strike. 196. Get to trigger Dragon Spirit, though. Empress is going to uh, march forward. Marlena the Oracle is going to follow suit. 112 damage to the Sacred. Mando is going to. It's going to miss the Arebo. Constance the Sacred is going to go for a Shake Off. It's going to miss the Knight. Okay, Lilith is going to go for a Cure 3. And we're going to see a Charm? No, that's going to miss. Neutral Compat. Alright, Cure 3. It's going to give the Priest a lot of her uh, mana. Okay, don't go up to. Okay. The Lancer got really lucky because Hamido did not trigger. So, um, yep. Yeah. Things are not looking good for Pokétax right now. 105 damage mimic mimic Titan must be back compat, I think. Clarence is going to revive the bird though. With the Phoenix down. Okay, Aribo is going to try for the charm again. It's gonna miss twice. That Aribo is really, really unlucky. Now the Aribo's in critical. This is uh okay. Oh, Savwack. Again, lucky. Lich's units are lucky that Hamido did not go off. Okay, Clarence is gonna go after the Ninja 168 damp. That has to be worse compat because that ninja would have been in critical otherwise. Okay, we're gonna see a Phoenix down onto the bird. Constance is gonna go for a more mimic titan. And it's two on No, I'm sorry. What's the odds? Okay, four on three in favor of uh in favor of Lidge. No! You sure attack Ugh God, the AI can be stupid sometimes. You try to go after the bird that's that close. You should hit him from another panel away. But Papyrus play, taking out the priest, but she does have re-raise. Okay, Marlena is going to go back and try to do for Kiku. 180 damage. going to trigger damage split. So priest is going to get right back up and going to heal herself and the Lancer. If I were Lidge the Lancer, I would KO that ninja very quickly because that ninja is basically the lifeblood of these monsters. But no, he's going to get another turn, and he's going to uh, revive the piggy again. Okay, that's more like it. You attack the bird from range. Speed Ruin. It's going to slow the Aribo down. Alright, Marlena would be... It's going to be able to get in range. It's going to hit the ninja, though, not the Aribo. That's pretty unfortunate. But, okay. Not in range for a holy, even. Papyrus Plate. 182 Dragon Spirit. Alright. Aribo is going to move back and is going to do please eat on the sacred. Probably the only thing that Aribo can do. Shake off. It's going to miss. Okay, Lich is going to go for a jump of the sacred instead of finishing off the ninja, which is probably the bad idea. At least I think so. Okay, Marlena is going to go to follow the ninja. All right, more shake off. All right, this knight is in critical. He's going to X potion himself, however. And run the hell away. Priest is going to get back up. Go for a cure 3. Will she be able to get it off in time? Yes, she will. 
So she's still in business. All right, Clarence is going to revive the bird. All right, Lidge is... Ugh. Again. You should not attack the bird like that. It's going to fly away. All right. It's going to take... All right, Kiku. It's going to put this ninja into critical, but not for long. Thanks to damage split. Okay, Constance is going to go for Mimic Titan. All right, it's going to put the, the knight into critical, but the lancer is still alive. Yoribo is going to... Do please eat on the bird and is going to miss. Papyrus play is going to miss. Okay, um, these two teams are going back and forth a little bit. However, I say Poke Tags is at a slight advantage. Okay, will the Holy be able to kill it? I don't know. The bird's not doing anything. Here comes the Holy. All right, Ninja's finally KO. So this is Lich's chance to capitalize on this. So this could be Lich's lucky break. Shake off. Down goes Lich the Lancer. Marlena the Oracle is going to... Okay. Get in range. The Aribo is not choosing to buff the bird. And the bird's running away as well. So it's really up to that sacred. Okay. Hamido. Gonna miss. Alright. Um. Oh yeah. The priest has no more uh, holy left in her. Sacred is going to do more Mimic Titan. And Mondo is still standing. Okay. Galahad's going to go for Zephyr. It's going to miss because of Abandon. Okay. Empress is going to run away again. Lilith the Priest is going to uh, go for, I think, a cure. Or cure 2 or a cure. Mando is going to revive the Lancer. Cure 3. Turn 20 damage. That's actually pretty good. Zephyr is going to kill the Lancer one more time. Alright, Sacred is going to go for a Berserk. It's going to hit. Please eat. Hey, yep. All right, Ninja's gonna crystallize, so no more coming back for him. Molina's gonna go for a Kiku, 120 damage. Live with the Priest is berserked, 56 damage. Uh, if the bird grabs a crystal, I think Pokétax can still have a chance to make a comeback here. Shake off, killing the killing the Priest, and she does not have re raise so it's uh. All right, M Mondo's gonna revive Live with the Priest, but Sacred's gonna probably gonna put the Priest right back down. No damage split occurs either, and, Gal and Galahad is going to retain the crystal. So this could be the break that Pokétax Poke needs. Kiku killing the Aribo, so it's two on two. Can Lich's team hold up? We'll have to find out. Galahad is ready to go for more Zephyr. Killing the KO and the Priest one more time. Mimic Titan. No damage split again. And Marlene the Oracle is pretty much on her last legs right now. So, it's two on two at the moment. All right, we're going to see Zephyr. 143 damage. Gonna... All right, if Marlena can keep using Mercy and Draw Out and keep damage splitting, and basically the Priest will be used as a, a distraction, maybe uh, Lich can still take this. We'll see, though. Damage split. All right. Marlena's going to go for a Kiku. He's going to kill the bird, so it's two on one in uh, Lich's favor right now. Arivo's going to crystallize. Shake off. Now it's one on one. Oracle versus Sacred. Who's gonna win? 180 damage Kiku. Will the Sacred be able to finish off the Oracle? No, he can't. Damage split. Yep, Lich has got this. Lich is gonna be taken round one. Wow, great match. Great finish. We'll see what happens in round two. Alright, we're here for round two between Lich and Pokétax. Now. I did post on FF ha on the FFH forums that the map 118 is glitchy and none of the monsters on Pokétax side were present. So I so now I've picked uh, inside Ralvane's castle. Yeah, the interior of Ralvane's castle because all four of them are present and it's not as bugged out. Okay, we can see 252 damage applied to the Cocotrius. Beak well petrify. Yes, a petrify proc hits. And we are gonna see Kiku. Damage split, but no critical quick either. Okay, Sacred is going to be going after the Oracle. 156 damage, damage split. Hoping the Knight will be able to... Uh, yep, yep. Remedy on the Petrified Lancer. Very good. Live with the Priest. Better take care of that uh, Rebo. And Pokétax is going to be going for Paris Plate. KO in her. And he gets another turn. He's going to heal up the Rebo. So it's actually pretty good. Empress try, try to go for a straight dash for all 40 damage. Okay. 
Wind Strike. 147 damage. Okay. And Clarence is going to heal up the bird very quick. Good idea so he can actually survive a few more hits. Marlena is going to go for Muramasa. He's going to KO the Aribo. And he's going to run back to, her, to his team, which is actually very smart. Mimic Titan. 140 damage. Damage split. All right. The priest should be able to come back up very soon. 252 is going to put the bird in the critical. Mando is going to be going for speed ruin and it's going to hit. So the sacred is slowed down. Limit the priest will pop right back up. And it's going to do a cure 3. Alright, Clarence is going to go for a throw. Papyrus plays. is going to put this priest in the critical. Galahad is going to go for a zephyr. He's going to miss. And he's going to move back. Lich. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright. No Hamido. I was going to say, that Lancer is really lucky. Because birds... Because units with Hamido is probably the most dangerous in my opinion. We're going to see a triple draw out. And it's going to... Put the sacred into critical. No damage split from the ninja. And... Alright. So it's four on one. And Pokétax does not look good at all. Unless Clarence can get some lucky... Re unless Clarence can get some double turns in or something. Uh, Ledge is going to hang back, and Marlena is going to go for more Kiku spam. No damage split again. Damn, that ninja better that ninja better um, do something quick because Pokey Tigers is getting seriously, seriously unlucky right now. And Liv the Priest is going to for fall four. Ledge is going to move in range, not do anything. Clarence is stuck in sandbag mode right now. He's doing everything he can to bring his whole team back, but. It, his efforts are going to be very, very futile. And Lilith is going to just continue to approach in range. Clarence is just continuing to resurrecting uh, the Aribo. But that's not going to matter too much at this point. Because this match is all Lidges. And Marlena is going to hang back and do some more Kiku. No damage split once again. And congratulations Lidge. You'll be moving on to the third series of matches. Pokétax, I am sorry, but you'll be descending down to the loser's bracket. GG.